Hey, what's up? I'm Norris. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be working on a sew along for my latest simplicity pattern, which is 9897, and we will be working on view A, the shorter version of the sweatshirt. Just as always, if you look on the back of the envelope, you will find all fabric suggestions and also notions included in this pattern. All the pattern pieces for this project is located here. Now, if you're new to sewing or just need a refresher course, you can visit our online sewing and design school, sewingacademy.com. There, you can take advantage of our free trial. Once you're done with that, come back and sew along with me. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanna let you know, um, depending on what kind of fabric you're using, you may want to pre-wash it. Now, pre-washing your fabric allows it to go ahead and shrink before cutting out all your pattern pieces and sewing it up because you don't wanna sew it up and wash it and it shrink up on you. So I just wanted to give you a quick tip to pre-treat your fabric before cutting out your fabric. Also, if you don't have a matching rib knit for your bands, you can use the same exact fabric as you can see here. So I'm gonna be using the same exact fabric for my neck band, my sleeve cuff, and also my bottom hem band. So once you get all that situated, we can get started. So first step, we're gonna start with our front piece. You see that one notch on the armhole here, uh, indicating the front, and also you can, you can tell by the neck. So with our front piece, you want it right sides facing, and we're going to grab our sleeves. So I'm going to match up that single notch here with my sleeve, and I'm gonna pin. Okay, and then now we're gonna grab the other sleeve, right side is facing. We're gonna pin it the same exact way. Okay, now that we have that pinned, we're going to head to the machine and stitch from the top all the way down to the bottom here using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And once you do this side, you wanna do the other side the same exact way. And now you wanna sew the other side the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and stitched. Now I'm gonna be cleaning off all of my seams with a serger, but I just want to do my back and my sleeves before I go and do that. Okay, so next I'm going to lay my sleeve flat. You'll see the double notch, which goes to the double notch on your back piece. So you wanna take your back piece and match that up with that double notch and pin all the way up. Okay, next, you wanna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the machine, and once again, you wanna stitch, starting on one end, all the way up to the other end, using five eighths of an inch seam allowance, and you wanna do the same thing to your other side. All right, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, my seams on my front is surged, as well as the seams on my back, and then I also pressed my seams towards my front, and then the back ones, I press them towards the back. You always wanna press your seams. And then now, I'm just going to work on one side at the moment, and we're going to pin along the side. So right here at the armhole, you wanna take those seams and match it up. You don't want any goofy armholes with seams not matching up. And then there's a notch here, and then a notch down here as well. Okay, now that we have it pinned all the way down, you want to stitch starting from the top all the way down to the bottom using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And once you do this side, you wanna pin and sew your other side the same exact way. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and surged that seam and I pressed my seam, my side seams towards the back. And now I'm just going to turn it right side out. Okay, next, I'm just gonna put this to the side for just a moment and I wanna work on our neck band. Usually I have to take off an additional inch because when it stretch, you wanna lay flat on your neck and not stand right up. I wouldn't suggest you do it just yet. You want to do your seam allowance. Um, we're gonna do the seam allowance and once we attach it, if you need to take it in more, um, you can. So I would suggest before you surge or do a regular stitch, you might just wanna base it on, okay? But first, we're going to turn it right sides facing pin real quick, head to the machine, you wanna stitch this down using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And if you're unsure, you just want to base this instead of doing a full on stitch. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I went ahead and pressed that seam open. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold it onto itself with wrong sides touching. Okay, just like this. Now you can give this a good press to make it easier to work with. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to the back. Now this seam is going to indicate the center back. So first let me find the center back. Match that up and then we're going to pin. And now that we got the back, let's go ahead and pin the front. First, I'm going to find the center front. Okay, pin there. And then you have two notches in the front, one on each side of the center. And then there's a notch on the sleeve where that notch should match up to the notch that's located on your neck band. Okay, so you want to have little small gaps. If you have too much of a gap, you might have to pull extra hard or just do some adjustments. Adjust mine a little bit, because I did take in an additional inch. So if you do that, you might have to just slightly distribute it on, on the side. Okay, so now let's head to the machine and stitch all the way around using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Okay, so before getting started, if you have a sleeve attachment like this that comes off, it'd be very helpful for you to get your neck in comfortably as you sew. So we're going to start in the back, and once again, we're using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Now as I sew, I'm just going to pull a little bit just to get some stretch. Okay. Okay. So now before you serge your seams, you want to make sure that you can press it and lay it flat. If not, you just want to take out your basing stitch and then take out a little bit more on your neck band seam. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, my neck band is laying down flat. I put it on and it's laying on my neck. So um, just so you know, if you're using a rib knit, it give, it's a little bit more stretch. It has a lot more give. So if it's not laying flat on your neck, you just want to take a, a little bit more. You might have to take in a little bit more than um, a fabric that don't stretch as much like this one right here because I'm using the same material. Okay, we're back from the machine. As you can see, we press that seam flat. We're wrong sides touching. Creates your cuff. Now, we want to go ahead and attach this to the bottom of the sleeve. Now with this seam here, you want to match up the seam on the sleeve and then also on the cuff together, just like that. I'm going to put a pin in there first. And then there's a notch on the other side that you should line up just like that. And then now I'm just going to pull a bit to try to find the middle. So if you're using a rib knit, you won't have to stretch out as much. Okay, so if you're using the same type of fabric, a fleece or a terry knit, it might not stretch as much as a rib knit, like I said. So you will have to give it a little bit extra stretch like that. So now just head to the machine and we're going to stitch all the way around the same exact way we did our neck band. Okay. So once you pin and sew one cuff, you want to do your other one the same exact way. Okay. Now with the cuff, since it's a little bit tighter, sometimes it's not able to go through your machine sleeve. So I leave it on and I just basically come in from the inside like that. And this way I'm able to get it all the way around. Okay, so once you sew one cuff to one sleeve, you want to do the other one the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, went ahead and stitched the cuff to the sleeve. And then also I finished off that seam with a serge. And now, as you can see, we have our cuff attached to the sleeve. And now we're going to work on our band here at the waist. With right sides facing, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and pin on the short ends. 
Now head to the machine. We're gonna stitch both sides down using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so we're back from the machine and pressing table. You see the seam is pressed open. And now we're wrong sides touching. Turn it like this. And then now we're just going to slide the sweatshirt on the inside and we're gonna start pinning. I'm gonna start pinning at my side seams first. Okay, and then now I'm gonna match up all of the notches. Okay, so with the band, we're gonna sew all the way around the same exact way that we did the neckline, and then also our cuff. We're going to start on one of the side seams and stitch all the way around using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, when we're back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and surged off that seam right there, and I gave it a good press. And last but not least, now this next step is optional. You can top stitch a quarter inch away from that seam at the neckline, and then also at your cuffs, okay? Um, but you more than welcome to skip that step if you don't want the top stitching. And once you give it all a good press, you're all done. All right, congratulations, and I hope you enjoyed this sew along. Be sure to tag me on all your amazing makes, and I will see you in the next video.